Hi MS Translators, welcome to another one of our video research summaries. Today I'm going to be talking to you about this paper that's just recently been published by a research team out of the Brigham and Women's Hospital and Harvard Medical School from Boston in the United States. Uh, and the paper was looking at oral administration of uh, a microRNA from feces of MS patients suppressing MS-like symptoms in mice by expanding Acomantia mucinifera. So what does this mean and why did they do this study in the first place? Well there's a lot of interest um, at the moment in the gut microbiome as we can see here on the on the left of the screen and so we know that the gut microbiome can be involved uh, in diseases and we know from previous studies that the gut microbiome is altered in people with MS. And we also know from previous studies that the gut microbiome can be involved in impacting and shaping the immune system, which we can see here on the right in this cartoon with a bunch of different cells that make up um, what we know as the immune system. So there's a lot of interest at the moment in terms of whether or not we can somehow modify that gut microbiome in a way that has positive effects on the immune system in terms of being able to help treat uh, multiple sclerosis. And one of the ways of potential ways of being able to modify that gut microbiome is through fecal transplants. And so that was what they were looking at in this study. So this is an overview of all of the different findings uh, that came out of this research paper. I'm going to look at each one of these individually. So if we look at this first one here, essentially the, what they did was they looked at the fecal matter or the poop um, of mice with EAE, experimental autoimmune encephalomyelitis, which is an animal model um, of multiple sclerosis. And what they found was that there was this specific microRNA that was found um, in much higher numbers in mice with EAE compared to control mice. Interestingly, when they also looked at fecal matter um, of people with relapsing remitting multiple sclerosis, they found that this same mRNA was upregulated or was in higher numbers in that fecal matter in that poop um, as well. So what they were interested in doing then was seeing whether or not um, this fecal matter all of this microRNA that was found in large numbers in this fecal matter could be useful as a treatment. That's so what they did with both um, just the microRNA, and it's not important at the, at the moment to really know what a microRNA is, it's just something that was found in there. They gave mice both that microRNA as well as transplanting the poop in different experiments. And what they found in both of those cases is that by doing that, they were able to suppress the disease in these mice when they tried to initiate um, this MS-like disease, which we can see from this graph down here. So in the blue line, we see mice that didn't receive this microRNA or didn't, it, the results looked very similar um, if it was also just a fecal transplant and they got quite bad disease. Whereas in this red line that we can see lower down, we can see that the disease was much less severe. What they then wanted to do was see, well, if this is the case, how might it actually be working? And so what we see down the bottom of this image now is actually a series of experiments that they did, and it's just been condensed into the, this one um, image here that shows how this might actually work. So what they showed was that this, this molecule, this microRNA, actually had an impact on a specific type of bacteria that was found in the gut microbiome, this acomantia that was mentioned in the title. And what happened was that uh, it caused greater numbers of this bacteria to be present. What happened due to that was that specific cells in the immune system called dendritic cells um, released more of a chemical messenger known as a cytokine. And these details aren't important, but what that what happened from that was it increased the numbers of these regulatory T cells um, or regulation regulatory cells in the immune system that are actually really important for helping to suppress disease. And we know that in multiple sclerosis, these T regs um, are actually found in lower numbers. So this was a way th through the gut microbiome of being able to impact on the immune system in a way that had this positive effect. So what we were talking about 
at the start. So some really interesting findings. As always, we want to put this into context. So what does this actually mean? Well, as we always say, this was a study done primarily in mice. And so there's always a big question mark about whether or not this will transfer across to human trials and whether or not we'll see the same results. Obviously, those studies are still needing to be done. But what I like about this study is, is a couple of different things. One, it helps give us more information about how the gut microbiome may be involved in multiple sclerosis and how it's impacting on the immune system. But also I like the fact of how they uh, told the story and how the story progressed in terms of being able to see their original result in terms of what they found in the fecal matter showed that that could actually have an impact on disease in the mouse studies but then actually went further than that and showed how it might all fit together and how the process might be involved that was helping to stop some of that disease progression. So a really interesting study on topics that we know are really of interest to the MS Translate community. We hope you've enjoyed uh, this video summary and as always if you have questions or comments please leave them below the video. Thanks.